I'm going to close up the turret now. And what I've modeled the front of this turret off of, turret, is the Fiat um, World War II tank. I think it's a P-43, uh, if I could be wrong on that. But I really liked how the uh, machine gun and main cannon operated together. So I mimicked that. To uh, hide the gun behind the gun, the uh, armor, so you can't just see in there and see that, you know, see that all that working stuff. I made this. This is not going to be glued. It doesn't need to be. Push that back there. And now this will move. You also see here that I've got the machine gun attached so that it moves with the barrel as well. Here's the the armor that I've made and it's going to go on right here and the machine gun and the barrel both will stick out. Okay, let's glue this on. So I've got the three or the four four ribs, support ribs, you know the braces which is the side. The more internal structures like that you have, the stronger it's going to be. Um, makes a big difference in the the final build. Okay, little glue, uh, super glue gel. Okay, slide the barrels over. Line that up. Gotta be careful not to glue it in the wrong spot. This glue's quick. If I don't want to glue something quick, I use Elmer's clear glue. Okay. So here we go. We've got this being glued in place. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Let's glue my finger to it. So you can see the piece of cardboard back there, camos it, can't see in there. And look at the machine gun move with the uh, 75 millimeter. There, look at that. I've got the entire outside skin covered over the corrugated cardboard, covered with thinner cardboard. But uh, yeah, I'm real happy with that. I just made that up just now. I've not done a turret or a gun casing like this. I look for inspiration from existing vehicles. So, uh, thanks for watching.